Good morning. So, where were we yesterday? Uh, yesterday... I think we had just got some really... Yeah, we just got some basic info down for our ad measurements. Um, and now we need to actually start styling it, uh, putting it in the right place, um, and actually putting some functionality behind it as well. So, let's go to GoLand. <clears throat> See, let's get rid of some of this craft here. Okay, so at the moment we have uh, in the goals page, um, we've added the add measurement uh, component, um, which uh, at the moment is uh, simply um, the select of which goal to use, which is that one there. Um, and then it calls the measurement input, uh, which has the value date taken and notes, uh, which is all terribly styled at the moment. So the first thing we need to do is make sure this is actually a form. Right. Now that should actually make quite a difference, I think, to the display. Still happening. That's it. Let's just finish and deploy. There we go. So this is not what we want, um, but it's a start. Uh, we can override this. Um, so at least now we have um, a more compact uh, label and component uh, input. Um, but what I want is I want this to be horizontal um, and I want it to be probably at the bottom. Uh, not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. I just need to get it out of the way from where it is at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm still a long way off uh, design wise. I need to at some point do a lot of design, but um, my first thing is get the, get it functional. Um, and as long as everything's in the right place, I should be able to just um, move things around with CSS and so on. Um, maybe move things in components a little bit if I need to. Um, so, okay, let's... Uh, what should we do first? Should we get it working? Or... Yeah, I think we should probably kind of get it out of the way first. Because um, it looks terrible there. So let's move it around and uh, get it usable later. So let's think what we're going to do here. I guess. I guess I could probably just do a bit of styling here. Probably got um, what have I got in here for the form? Okay.
So I've got no... So that's not flexed up or anything there. So that means I must be overriding it somewhere else. Oh, it's ages since I looked at this stuff. Hmm. What did I do for the... Ah, okay. It's at the moment constrained purely by its width. Hmm. And I'm using EMs everywhere. Kind of wish I'd used REMs. Mm, might have to change that later. Uh, okay, so in that case, I wonder how that's going to work. I wonder if I should probably have a global style for horizontal. Because I don't think I can do anything in line that will affect it. So the thing is, when you work with styles in, in Spout, It doesn't, um, it doesn't bleed through, which is good. Okay, let's think, uh, let's do, let's just do a quick test. See if I can do something like, um, percent don't think that's going to make any difference gonna to have to do um I might have to create a different version of the form component. Let's see what happens. Yep. Make sure it definitely came through, didn't it? Yeah. So let's see what we're going to do then. What we want something like a hundred cent, but it's not even going to take it there. Interesting. Right, okay. 
So I've got to add a max width on there instead of width. Because I really want, yeah, because that's what I wanted. And I need to override all the labels. Probably should have uh, updated the select as well. If we need it, I guess. <laughs> what to do? Because this is going to be a bit of a pain actually to override this. It might be best if I move that CSS into the component and then just switch based on a class or a wild variable. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Okay, let's give that a go. That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. We don't need this. Actually, just double check. I want to make sure of absolutely certain that if I do any kind of overrides here, it's not going to make a difference. The scoping rules are a little bit confusing sometimes. That's fine. Okay, good. Right, I'm not going mad. Let's take all this form stuff out of the global. Stick it in here. And then we'll just make sure that this works now because now I've moved all the label stuff, the label and input stuff. That might have a problem. That might all go a bit pear shaped. Yes, thought so. I might just take only the form itself, leave the label stuff. Because mm. it's all going to go wrong now. Yeah. I 
I could make it global, just in here. Problem then is then you kind of lose sight of it as being global. It's not in the global CSS. Kind of prefer to have my global CSS in the global. Let's, uh, yeah, put that back. But we'll keep the form. see what happens. really playing with CSS really just to see what what can and can't do if I'm mixing global and component level I don't normally need to do that in what I'm doing at the moment in the real job it's all global So that's back to normal. Let's see about let's have a little variable. Give it a uh... okay. So if we use the form component and we say, "Hey, be horizontal," we're then going to get this form dot horizontal override on the max width. So in add measurement, we'll then use uh, 
Yeah, should know. Why is it not picking up? Interesting. Hmm. I expected that to all to complete. I don't know what I've done wrong there. It worked. It's fine. Okay. And then this should still be correct. Yep. Give it a quick refresh. Yep. Ah. Right. Now we need to restyle this stuff for horizontal. So I should really be doing a bit of flex here, I think. Because at the moment, I'm just using uh, display block, I think. So did I use that explicitly? OK. Inline block and then block block. OK. Yeah, I could. I wonder, I wonder if it would be better if I switched to using Flex. Let's have a little play. So on here, which is normal mode effectively for me. We've got display inline block. And then I'm just forcing it left. And then for any input, I'm just clearing both sides to get a column. That's pretty old school. Hmm. Whereas on the goals, I'm using flex. It kind of just works. It's quite nice. I don't have to do a lot of fudging around because each component self-contained, which is nice. And I could do that on the form as well.
Yeah, well, that could go. Yeah, because then I could put the the buttons in their own little container, because they're not at the moment. That'd be nicer. But the problem I've got is that I've, I'm using the same component layout in a lot of places. And this is kind of mobile friendly at the moment. But eventually I want to do something a little bit better and expand it up and do things nicer for, for desktop. I mean, it doesn't need to be like, in theory, I could move this into the center or I could split it up and maybe have in two columns. You can imagine everything down to end date. And then the reason and so on and second column something. Or I could have it as two horizontals there. Ver prefix value suffix, followed by a row of end date reason, blah, blah, blah. Really done any designing yet, so decisions, decisions. If I use flex, I'll have more control over what I do with those little components as such. Each one is wrapped with a label. So I can easily say, hey, take the first three or four, whatever, and then break to the next. That's getting to grid. Should I be using grid instead? That might work.
Hmm. Might have to do a little bit of investigation of the two different ways there. Because I don't think, as it stands, I'm really going to be able to do what I want. I think if I try and fudge it now... I basically have to take out the clears. And the width. Yeah, that's going to be a mess. Definitely need to switch to something like flex or grid. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a job, isn't it? Flex or grid? I don't know, because... <laughs> How much control do I want? I was struck with grid because of the... Uh, the requirements to know your width. But then again, it, if I'm doing this... I'm doing this on set breakpoints. Flex would be A little bit easier if I mark it up. Oh, I'm just so undecided as to what to do. Um, and I'm running out of time again. I'm going to have to do some research on that one, I think. Have a little play with a little spiked version. It might be as simple as just kind of doing this kind of format. Just let it flow. I really should actually decide how I want it to look. That would make a big difference. Okay, 
let's not go there just yet. this for a sec. Don't think this is going to be what I want. That. Just take this out for a sec, see what that does. This is going to push out in a minute, isn't it? But make any difference because of the scoping rules. I might have to do everything a bit more globally and maybe more, more cleanly with the flex or grid. Yep, I'm going nowhere fast. So, and running out of time. I'll have to do a little bit of uh, thinking about that one. So, is what Kyle have been doing all, all this session. Right, so I'm going to have to call it a day. Um, let's see what I do next time. If I get a chance, I'll, have, I'll um, try and work out what I actually want to do with these forms, how I want them to behave, And then decide on whether I use flex or grid to position them rather than the kind of hacky um, divs with displays and widths. Right, until next time, take care.